Okay, I'm finally back. It is the next day. I am still very happy that we're done with this damn building. And we kind of got sidetracked by Floric also. So... Um, let me try to think. What do we need to do? So... I'm not going to do maintenance. Everyone is fine. I'm still feeling the love from Lizelle. Uh... I'm not going to go down here just yet. So we're going to backtrack along here and then go over into here, handling another murder target. Okay, how... We've been here before, but how do we get in? Call to assume some... Oh! Ooh. I didn't go all the way back here. Okay. That sounded ominous. Well. Oh, you are short. You don't want none of this. Trust me. It's not what it looks like. I promise. So I guess their ancestry is a green dragon? Huh? I guess that would explain his behavior right now. Okay, whatever. Um, where's my group? Why are y'all not coming over? Guys. And it's just Shadowheart. What's... What, uh, what's going on, guys? Come on. Like, why are y'all just constantly getting stuck? Okay, now we're together. Speak your loss. self help book, true happiness, tidy house, four boards. Oh. Just out of view. If you can't keep me out, stop wasting my time. Here we go. This will be no different. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. No. Oh. <laughs> they always disappoint them. Why you gotta be that way? Okie dokie, let's go find a dead body. Hello. Oh. Can I not set this like on the table or something? What? Oh, this is annoying. There we go. What? That made no sense beforehand. Time to rest. Okay. Oh no. The mock. Darn. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hallelujah. Keeping up appearances. Oh, they were impersonating the tombstone guy, I guess. Clerk Dravage. Remember, you are in the business of making Candle Hollows tombstones look like a genuine retail establishment. Keep all the pieces, keep all the prices about half again too high so you don't sell every 
very much inventory. Oh, I'm dyslexic today. Think of the shop as a stage rather than an actual going concern. The management. Yes, the management. Hmm. Like it's well be done. Okay, I know this is probably gonna take us to a different zone, but come on. Where's the logic here? Why why can we not just break it down? Where is the logic? Lock picking impossible. For history. I've always liked having stuff like that for just, you know, niche usage, because when it finally is needed, it is nice. It's a 20, though. Okay, okay. Yes. Mm. Homegirl comes through for me. That phrase is ballast. This place has some connection to Orin and her cult of killers. You should learn more about them. Is that all I get out of this? Remains locked. Okay, fine. I need some kind of key. Despite everything, cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadow. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned the lesson that after all. Who came to resent your tutor, I bet? I taught them to fight, not to hate. Is it weird that I want to ship them together after that interaction? I don't know why. I feel like they would be a good match together. Call me crazy. Call me stupid. I, it, it's just a passing thought. We got rats in cellar. We also got cats, but cats are useless. So how about you kill the rats? We already did that quite a while ago. You did? Very clever. Good job. Yes. Here, you take this. Okay. I guess we forgot to check in after doing it. Hi. You already got paid. No more work here. Plenty of rats elsewhere in the city. Go kill those. Rats. Murderers. Always knew the chef gig wasn't going to be easy. Do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept peeled for murdering types. Well, I think he is actually still a human. I don't think he's been replaced yet. We've already explored this area, didn't find any corpses or anything. Okay, I guess that's it for that. The 
city is chock-a-block with bodies, thanks to these murders. I can barely keep up with all the orders. Don't know what you're talking about. Do you make... Coffins? Yep. What's hiding here? Nope. Whoops, nope. I was told to not do that without a certain companion. Yes, I am taking my time with this game. It is, it is worth enjoyment. A broken steel watcher. A tag wired to it reads, Unit defective. Return to the Steel Watch Foundry at the West Docks. Oh, why is that green? Heart? I hear magic. That corpse is huge. And is that a burning heart? Courageous little Kimabeth. Are you a half giant? What? Hold on, what? You're ginormous. Is this supposed to be a Yagashura reference to the fire giant ball spawn? <laughs> I didn't expect to find that here, but okay. Hey, <laughs> I was right. Did he have a half, a half, half human kid? Or are they just naturally this small for a little bit? Or is BG3 canon? Is that what a fire giant looks like for canonic height? Because they're... In the old game, the fire giants were like... What? 20, 30 feet tall or some, or some bullshit? Like... Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll, read, I'll read the note. Hands on. Dribbles, no doubt. Couldn't even imagine how a fire giant would have a half kid with a human. That'd be... Ew, that'd, be, that'd, be that'd hurt. That'd hurt. That would hurt. Uh, Lazel, sweetie, mm. please hold this hand. The effigy of Yagashura, who burned his mortality. What use his heart? He thought himself a titan, but died whispering for his mother. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood or in the red. Yeah, didn't he have like a foster mom in the old game or something that took care of him and then, of course, betrayed him because why not? And that's how we learned how to kill him. Because like if you didn't do the thing for his heart, like you were not killing him, even if you cheated and did the instant death um, macro like it, he no die. He, he was locked where he would never actually die, die. I suppose we definitely can't talk to this dude. The corpse does not respond. Now see, that would be a cool moment to actually allow us to do. I would like to talk to whoever this dude was. But uh, yeah, this heart. Oh. Human heart. 
Carefully cut from the chest. Coagulating blood slowly drips from an artery. Normally, I wouldn't want to keep this, but right now I feel like I should. Okay, so we have this lingering, so thing people should glow if we can talk to them. An offer. Dear Mr. Petri, a lovely corner you've went out for yourself, man of your means. I like your house, Frank Petri. Yet as the Papa said to the priest when he espied the cathedral's interior, it could be improved, sir. That is what I'm writing to you about. You see, I have an offer for you, Frank. I have in my possession a tremendous quantity of infernal iron. Ooh. It's acquisition immaterial. What matters is this. I shall need assistance distributing the weapons forged from this exquisite iron to the city's... Let us call it the city's more colorful dimension. I find you uniquely qualified for this endeavor. Owing to your diverse, eclectic, and poisson contacts throughout Baldur's Gate. Aid me. Add me to those contacts, Frank. It'll work out for you. Mutual benefit and all that. I'll be in touch. Think on it. Yours in faith, in Vagortash. Ah. Final contracts and bargains. It presents a guide on which devils to bargain uh, with for what. One must choose which devil they deal with using utmost vigilance. Remember, devils are not only fiends, they are bastards. I once knew a man who asked for ultimate protection against his enemies from a devil of Despatter. He was transported into an impregnable iron fortress deep underground, one without doors. So pick and choose with caution, friends. For matters of money, creatures of Menaros can best solve your woes. For matters of pleasure or pain, face the fiery folk of Flegel... Flegelos... Flegethos. Okay, this tome continues in much the same manner. Yeah... That was probably a donjon spell. That is basically how it happens. And it's, that's it. Once you're down there, you you can't come back. You most likely cannot come back. You would, I think, need a wish spell to undo a donjon. The hell is unleashed. Archduke's leadership, surveillance. The watch and the steel watch. Have we found this one before? Yeah, I think we have. It's an old one. This is a pretty dirty cellar. Dirty no more. Except for this. Oh, you're not gonna let me do it. Dang. All right, whatever. What to do? What path lies before me? Oh, hello, loot. Enhanced weapons, sales ledger. I guess this guy was some kind of shopkeep or weapons, um, Smith. This letter records acquisitions and sales in Gortash's Infernal Weapons Trade. The Infernal Iron acquired from diabolic sources. Use thereof in forging enhanced arms and armor and sales and distribution through Gortash's network and to other wholesalers such as the Zentarum and the Knights of the Shield. 
The final entry is as follows. Note for Lord Gortash, the Knights' organization appears to be collapsing, and sales to them are in steep decline. However, this is more than made up for by shipments to our new contacts in Am, and the Athkatla receipts next month should make everyone happy. Petri. So I guess Oren murdered Petri because he was... He was in a very important position for acquiring power and allies and money and, and stuff. Huh. I get the feeling I should keep that. My gratitude. Dear Frank, writing to extend my sincere gratitude, weapon distribution continues like a parent saving their drowning child. Swimmingly. The success of this endeavor lies entirely at your feet. You are a treasure, and I should like to hold you in my arms and whisk you about. How you would laugh, Frank. Of course, people would say we're in love. And I do. I do love you, Frank. I love any man willing to birth a little more slithering wet malice into the world. What? By sending out my weapons, putting them in groping, willing fingers, you've done just that in yours. In faith, okay, that's a little weird. Uh, let's see. Do do do. Shavel and shabu shavel and balang button. Okay. Assume nothing. I will need to pick a day to sort through all this and start selling my wares again. Take my pick. I keep hearing something shiny. Do you hear it? Open up. You know, with the amount of empty boxes in this game. I kind of wish some of them just weren't clickable, you know? Onward. Mm. Oh! Okay. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Okay, so we don't have that key won't work. Fifteen. Hallelujah. Ooh. Interesting. I really hope we have a use for those soul coins other than giving them to Kalak. Because the damage bonus for them isn't worth it. I guess that's it for down here. Hmm. Gosh, what is the story with that giant though? That 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 big guy. Clearly some kind of parkour could be had here. But I don't see a reason to get up here. There's not really loot in there. We jump over here. I don't see a reason for that either. Unless this would have been a way for us to get a jump on them for some perceived fight. Hmm. Tally ho! Property in constant use. Gathering strictly prohibited. Are 
I write this to you with, the sh with shame in my heart. My brother, the light of my life, fell prey to an evil hag. He sought fame and fortune, and she gave it to him. He now sits in my hometown square, a statue at the heart of a, of a fountain. A plaque at his feet reads, toss a coin for luck. Water spills into the square sometimes. So overflowing is the fountain with coppers. I failed him. I was so wrapped up in my own pain that I didn't notice his. And then I saw your poster, advertising your meetings about other hag survivors. Could I join? I think it would do my heart good to meet others like me who have suffered. Kindest regards, Yatlaw. Mm. Hmm. So it's locked, but it's not red. Dear Mrs. Adria, Clyde's found a place, and I saw a man called Mr. Garlow used to live here, but his neighbors said he doesn't live here anymore. Clyde thinks it's perfect. We can hide from the hag, or fights, or whatever you think is a good idea. Clyde knows you will have a good plan. Clyde will wait. That's old Garlow's for you. Oh. So I guess we are going to be able to fight this hag eventually. with this architecture what it's very weird huh. hag research notes with enticing smell of the A seemingly random collection of book titles, ingredients, and combinations. This is this fungi? A power of words, surviving the fae, and the chapters. The anatomy of hag by a knuckle scallop, uh, drag an egg washroom. Swings. Okay. The eviction notice. I've had it. Snowstorms inside the house, blood weeping from the windows, and now Mr. Wimbley's cat is vomiting up frogs. The poor man had a bloody heart attack from the shock. I know you lot are trying to fight back against hags or whatever, and that's great, honestly, but I can't risk the neighborhood just because you were stupid enough to piss off a hag. Keep your rent. I want you all out by tomorrow. Hmm. How to kill a hag. Hit them very, very hard. We've done it. It took sweat, blood, and tears, but we've done it. We know how to kill a hag. Meet myself and Adriel at Old Carlos. This is going to change everything. May rip. I was wondering when we would run into you again. Is your husband doing okay? Because last I checked, he was kind of in need of a bath. Okay, Old Garlos. Where is Old Garlos? Cora is one of them. Oh, I guess we gotta go back up there. Uh, let's get the deal. Oh, that's up there. Okay. Um, Starion. Carlos down here. Okay, we can. Do we want to just beeline down there? Let's go check on Cora and then beeline down to old Carlos. Maybe that'll be a quick fight against the hag. Why, hello, Mr. Wimbley. 
Hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzli's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Mm, they do look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury, I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Call me Cora, Master Metzli, and I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. This is the guy. This is the guy. This is the... I think. Oh, he did something to the glass. See, Master Metzli. Surely you can't turn away a prospective customer. I was in business for a great many years, Master Metzli, and my wife, as always, is most correct. Very uh, well. Here. Now leave me to attend my customers, please. I just had to fail that medicine check. He just did it right there. Holy shit. Yes, I'm doing this. Oh, I didn't do any quick saves after all of that. Oh, okay, I, I guess I'm gonna... Guess I'm gonna stick with my consequences. Boots of Dimension Door? I interrupted it and you just do it anyways? What kind of horse shit is that? Moreover, isn't something like that from an item like a one-time use per day? I, I call bullshit on that. I, I don't like that at all. So technically this guy got away and now we're dealing with the trash. Man, and my instincts were to just attack this dude. And just see what happens, honestly. Ay. Okay, paralyzed condition, incapacitated. Mm hmm. I should use that very carefully. Um, Y'all are all fairly big. Coming through. Ha ha! Just for the fun of it. He's gone away. Very clearly, he has. Looking ahead. Sorry, Roger. How could someone do such a thing? Yeah, that's what ballists do. Hmm. 
I'm willing to bet this dude would have gotten away no matter what we did. Oh my god, lady, stop. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is Boy, let the corpse remains silent. Fine, I'll leave her alone. Tombstone sh Ooh. Ooh. Promising candidate. In term report, the Scar Dwarf is a promising candidate for the unholy for unholy assassin. Though he is personally crude, his methods of homicide are artistic and even innovative. He has set up a deadly wine festival to eliminate his next target, and I, for one, will be observing it closely, shall I? So are we, like, killing senior members as this one initiate is getting away every time? Aha! Uh -huh. Step back, civilian. Setting up a wine festival can be dangerous. I think we know that already. Oh, that sucks. Condolences, sir. Hmm. Edbard. Can I call you Edbard? Well, Edbard, I do support Lord Vortash's campaign. I am so tired of that NPC. Oh my god, I'm so tired of her. All right, anyways, um, I'm just gonna end it here. As always, if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, y'all stay safe out there.